Hey there everyone, welcome to my channel, and today I'm very happy to say that getting 86 box up and running on Linux has never been easier as of the very, very latest build. Because now, you can run it as an app image, which means you don't have to compile anything, and you don't need to do pretty much anything other than just download 86 box itself and the ROMs and then just give the permissions and run so you don't actually have to compile anymore and it's been the easiest way to run 86 box on Linux so far I'm going to demonstrate how it's quite amazing and as one can finally say 86 box is finally Linux ready as it should have been so first of all we got to download 86 box obviously so you're going to github page github.com 86 box slash 86 box pretty much then you go on the build passing icon thing it takes you to the jenkins page where you can download either uh 64 bit or 32 bit i'm going to be taking the 64 one debug or normal one it doesn't really matter i'm going to be getting the debug one and then we save it let it download and then next we gotta get the ROM so we go back to the get page we click on the left corner 86 box again we go on ROMs and download zip and once we download the zip we save it obviously and once it's done we first of all we gotta extract this folder somewhere I'm gonna use documents as there we go that's that's better okay now we have to rename actually we don't really have to rename but for convenience i'm going to rename the folder to rums it's much better okay now we gotta get the downloads we gotta go to the downloads folder and drag it over to documents so that they uh move here yeah better there we go so the app the image and the roms are in the same folder now we go to the terminal where's the terminal here you are where are we? Oh, great. Okay, first of all, we gotta elevate permissions. Great. Okay, so we go over to downloads. Oh, never mind. We go to documents. I forgot we moved it. And now we have to assign permissions to this one folder. So I think it's plus X. Yeah. Uh, we have to make it executable. So you could either go here on properties and permissions and make executable, but you could could go with the nerdy way as well. Let's, let me rename. Not actually gonna rename anything. I just wanna copy the entire name over there. And then you go teach mod plus X, and then you put in the whole name there. Great. And now it's important. It's important part because it has a little issue where you have to point where the rums folder is at. Otherwise, it won't work. So you're gonna go and uh, well, obviously, as if you're gonna be ex executing it, you put that in, and then um, you gotta put uh, R right there, and uh, the folder name runs. That should be about it. That's all you need to run 86 box, and then you hit enter, and it should run just like that. It's gonna open up uh it's gonna boot at the very default 8088 obviously you can change the settings as you wish and that's pretty much all you need to do look at that 86 box running on linux as easy as it can get i didn't install any fit anything it's a fresh manjaro install i just installed it like 10 minutes ago and that was it it's fresh brand new and it just works and then obviously you can go here and change everything. You have the, the whole QT interface already working just fine. Let's take a socket five. A uh what could we a gigabyte uh sixteen megabytes of RAM? That would be nice. Display could go with what could we go with? A T four thousand. Yeah, that's great. It's just for testing. Just want to make sure that everything is indeed working as it should let's make a hard drive let's make it the dynamic size vhd 
uh, into documents. Yeah, that works. Let's go with Windows 95, even though, even though I'm not really going to install anything. It's going to be 500. No, let's make it a gig, right? It doesn't really matter. 1024. 1020. Oh, it doesn't let me. Okay. Whatever. 1023 it is. Fine. All right. Disk is created. Then we are going to have a floppy 144. This will work. So it's Let's just make it like that. And then a CD-ROM drive. Yeah, that, that that should work. And then we hit OK. And yeah, that'll show this message again. It's going to reset. Now look at that. There we go. 86 box. Running on Linux natively as God intended. This is great. This is huge for emulation, actually. People have been waiting for this for so long. This is like the greatest thing to happen to the emulation scene in 2022 for sure and then we save yeah there we go so you can see working just fine so that's pretty much how you get 86 box running on linux obviously disk book failure because we don't have a bootable floppy or a bootable cd for that matter as you can see it's working as as it should just perfect no issues whatsoever as you can tell it's pretty simple doesn't really demand that much technical know-how or anything. It's as simple as it gets. If you guys have any questions, comment sections right down below. Once again, feedback is much appreciated. So if you guys have anything, just say, don't be shy. It's it's really, really appreciated. I really like it. So, yeah, take care. Stay safe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully soon. Um.